in the town of Poudre Park. West of Fort Collins. Carl Goosewell and his son Brian. The eyes are real important. Have spent years. It's about a two year project, but I, I only worked on it a day or two a week. Yeah, just a few hours each day. Working to finish this detailed. We want to look lifelike. And massive life-size sculpture. 1,700 pounds. Of two bears fighting, poking around in their garage. We kept poking at it. To make some art that pokes right back. We wear out a lot of gloves. Because nearly this entire sculpture's been made from rolls and rolls a barbed wire fence. You have to see it to really believe it or to understand, appreciate. Because uh, if you tell people you make animals out of barbed wire, uh, they never picture it right. Years ago, they started making barbed wire sculptures with Carl's dad. It was a three generation project. Wrapping barbed wire around metal frames and welding it together. Now there are several life size barbed wire animals roaming Colorado. The bear, the moose, elk, a ram, and several little bears. Including a bear and cub watching rafters all summer along the Poudre River. Hundreds of people a day, you know, float by and see our bear down at the river. They've sold one piece and might someday sell another, but this father and son say their love for making this art. Enjoy building stuff together. Is really just about sticking together. It gives me a chance to spend time with my son and uh, we have a great time uh, arguing about how we're gonna do it. They <laughs> really are some pretty impressive pieces that they're putting together up there in Poudre Park. They first saw uh, a sculpture of a barbed wire horse, uh, and then Brian said, we're gonna try to do that, and the family started doing it, and they're still doing it. Next up, they wanna make a big barbed wire Bigfoot that they wanna put along the Poudre River. Marty, it takes them a long time. It's not easy to work with barbed wire, but I was extremely inspired by their work, and so I've spent a few days doing go. my own little sculpture. Uh, it's inspired by you. It's a Marty Coniglio weather sculpture. I think he's the sharpest meteorologist out there. You nailed the likeness, too. Look at that. Yeah. Thank Look you so that. much, Matt. I am honored to be the subject of your artwork. <laughs> Truly honored. Yes, it's beautiful. Beautiful.